Hey guys, how are you? Today I am doing a tutorial on this look here using drugstore makeup that is available here in Australia. So you can pick up everything I mentioned today from Priceline or department stores like Big W and Target. If you enjoyed this video and would love to see more drugstore tutorials, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. All right, well, keep watching and let's get straight into the video. All right, so starting out with primer, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Anti Redness Primer. Now, you all know by now that I absolutely love this. It just dulls down my redness oh, like magic. Like, are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, okay? Okay. Can you see how well that just took the redness out of my skin? Every single time I use this primer, I'm just as amazed. I absolutely love it. Now that primer does take a lot of the redness out of my skin overall, but I do still have some blemishes that I want to cover up. So I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Insta Conceal and Correct palette and use the green shade just to go over some of these bigger pimples on my cheeks. So I've just got a tiny amount of this on my brush. I think that is the key when it comes to using a green concealer, less is more. So I'm just going to go around and dab this all over my pimples and slightly blend it out. So as you can see, I just like to pat the green concealer on instead of rubbing it in. If you do have any pimples that have dry skin or are flaky, rubbing it is just going to make it worse. The next step isn't necessary, but if you want to make sure the green doesn't peek through your foundation, go in with a concealer that matches your skin tone and just go over the blemishes one more time. I've just got a little bit on the back of my hand here. I'm going to use the same brush and again, pat this concealer over the blemishes. All right, so that is how I cover up my pimples and my redness. While I've got the Rimmel palette out, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of color correcting under my eyes. So I'm just using this peach tone here and I've only got a tiny bit on the brush and I'm going to very lightly apply that on the inner corners of my under eye. Now it is time for foundation and I'm going in with the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and I have the shade Porcelain. Now there is a lighter shade than this available, but I don't think it's stocked at Priceline. So if this one is too dark for you, but you really want to try it, just have a look around online and I'm sure you'll be able to pick up the lighter shade somewhere. If I find it, I'll link it down below for you to make it easier. So why am I holding you? Cause it's always been I really like this foundation because it is really, really lightweight. It feels so good on the skin and it is really buildable. So as you can see, I'm just going to do one layer now with the brush and then I'll go ahead and put a little bit more on and blend that out with my beauty blender just to get a little bit more coverage and a really nice flawless finish. I've got a nice new beauty blender as well. <laughs> For my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using the Essence Camouflage in the shade 05 Ivory. Now, I'm pretty sure I used this in my last Australian drugstore tutorial, but it's the only concealer at Priceline so far that I've found that is light enough for under my eyes. The rest of them are just a little bit too dark. So this one claims to be a full coverage concealer. It's no sharp tape tape. <laughs> what? Sharp tape tape. 
Oh my god. As I was saying, it's no tart shape tape, but if you do two layers, you definitely get a really nice coverage. And then to set under my eyes and the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. For my brows, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Eyebrow Cake in the shade Blonde. This has two different colored powders, so really good for getting that gradient effect. And then once the brows are on, I'm going in with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Blonde. I really need a product like this in my brow routine because I have very little hairs. This really helps to make them look more full and fluffy. And then I'm going to go in with another brow gel. This is by Thousand Hour and it is the Eyebrow Clear Mascara. This is like hairspray for your eyebrows. They will not go anywhere once you use this. And I'm sure you all know how I feel about a tiny wand. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my God, the precision. So I just like to brush my three strands at the end of my brow up, get them in place. Now I'm going to go back in with my Essence Concealer and I'm going to use this for an eyeshadow base and I'm also going to clean up under my brows. I'm going to do my eyes next and I've decided to dip back into the Models Prefer Sunsetter palette. Now, if you watched my review on this one, <laughs> when I've been doing my eyeshadow lately, I haven't been setting my base and I'm finding I'm getting a lot more color payoff and it's blending really easily. It's turning out really nice. And that's what I did when I tried out this palette and a lot of you recommended to set my base and just give it another go because a lot of people had positive reviews, so I don't know what I was doing wrong. But today I have set my base with powder and I'm going to dip back in. So fingers crossed, this doesn't go <laughs> bad. If you do want to watch my fail video though, I will link it down below for you. Now I think the key here is to not go overboard with the shadows. So I'm going to do something really simple, maybe just a little bit of color in my crease and then a shimmer on the lid because I'm really nervous and <laughs> I don't want it to go bad. All right, I'm starting out with the shade Aglow on a nice big fluffy brush and I'm going to pop this into my crease. All right, so far so good. It is packing on and blending out nicely. The color isn't as pigmented as I would like. It's still a little bit like translucent on the lid. To transition this shade a little more, I'm going to take Lantern on a new brush and lightly blend out these edges. Now I really want to deepen this up with this shade here, but I just think it's too dangerous. Like I'm way too scared. So all I'm going to do is take this gold shade called Beacon and apply this to the lid. I'm first just going to apply it with my finger and then I'll go in with a brush to blend it into the transition color. See, like it's not even Look how pigmented it is on my finger. And then when I try and apply that to the lid, it just isn't coming off. And like, look how much is still on my finger. So I've got some on the brush there and I'm going to give it a spritz with my Fix Plus, which is pretty much empty. Okay, that's working a bit better. I do have to kind of scratch the color up off the palette though. Instead of just wiping it, 
I have to kind of scratch it up to get some color on the brush. I'm just going back in with more of that peachy shade to blend those two colors together. All right, well, I'm just going to leave it at that. Final verdict is I do not like this palette. The shadows just don't perform how I want them to. I still think it looks a little bit patchy. The shimmers definitely aren't as pigmented as they swatch. Mm, it's just not doing it for me. So I'm going to leave the eyeshadow at that. I'll go ahead and put a little bit of the peach shade on my lower lash line. I'll finish the other eye and I'll be right back. Next, I'm going in with some eyeliner. I'm using a pencil to tight line and then I'm going to use my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner to do a thin line across my upper lash line. For mascara, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. This is pretty much empty. I don't know why I'm even bothering, but that's okay. I only want a thin coat because I'm going to be putting on falsies. And then I'm going in with the Ardell Natural Demi Lashes. Once my lashes are applied, I like to go back in with my liquid liner and go over the lash band to make sure nothing's peeping through and there's no glue or anything showing. Onto the face, I'm going to be bronzing with my Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzer in the shade Light Matte. This is a really nice, light, but buildable bronzer. It has a bit of a cool undertone as well, so it's perfect for fair skin. Don't do it. Don't do it, Tinker. For blush, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coral. This has become my new favorite blush. It has a really nice sheen, which gives a nice glow to the skin, but it's not like too shimmery or glittery. It's also really buildable, which I love in a blush, and the color just gives a really nice flush. Mm -mm -mm. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with this eyeshadow by Essence. It's from their My Must Haves collection. So they have single eyeshadows and you can buy a little palette and you can put four of these in them. So this here is the shade Apricotta. Look at that glow it gives. I think it just looks so nice and natural. <laughs> I love it. There aren't a big variety of highlighters for fair skin at the drugstore or Priceline. So having these little eyeshadows is a really great alternative and they are so affordable. Like, look at that glow. Ooh. Oh. Before I do my lips, I'm just going to set my face with my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go setting spray. And I'm just going to keep this look neutral today. I'm going in with my NYX Love Out Loud Liquid Lipstick in the shade Confident. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit crazy today. That braid worked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, this is the finished look using all products from Priceline. I hope you enjoyed watching today. Today's subscriber shout out goes to Crystal, forgive me on your surname, Emeskua? Emeskua? I'm not too sure, sorry. But Crystal is also very fair with freckles and has some redness. And she is just always giving me such positive feedback on my videos, which I really, really appreciate. She is so lovely and I just want to say thank you for being a part of my channel. I will list all the products that I used down below in the description box if you miss them. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram as well because I post heaps of makeup pictures and makeup videos. I hope you are all having a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>